Well, good morning, guys. It's early, and it's time to kill some black turtle beans. So, morning obviously isn't starting off quite how I'd like it with a dead truck, but we'll work around that with this thing. So this isn't a plug for this thing, but I will say they're expensive, but very, very impressive little machine. I, we actually just got this, I don't know, a month ago or so, and we've already used it a ton. Let's see if we can make this thing work again so I don't embarrass myself. Let's see. Turn that on. Now I believe we just wait a little bit, and this thing will start it as long as you got uh, juice in the batteries a little bit. And look at that, another way to start the morning off. Kneeled right in some grease. Nice. Like it wasn't even dead. I fell asleep with my phone laying on my chest. That's good for radiation. I suppose. <laughs> and the thing was on loud. And when that alarm went off this morning, I bet you I levitated out of bed. I was so scared. <laughs> it's like, come on, phone. Don't you know you're right, right next to me? They don't have a brain. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I started my morning off with a dead truck, and then I kneeled in grease. But I'm mixed up, so as long as you're ready, I'm ready. Uh, I didn't check fuel or depth, hydraulic or engine oil. Uh, I did haul my garbage with the tractor to the dumpster. Oh my. Um, Sounds like you're ready then. Yeah, I'd say we can go. <laughs> well, you can always tell when Brody was the last one to use a tractor. Such short little legs he must have. <laughs> Back to normal man position. Well, we didn't make it far. Things are already falling apart. That's Chet's. Getting too excited. Well, we, uh, we're done for the day. This last field got a little weird. Kind of spot spraying spots that are dead. The issue is if we wait on them, they'll be so dry. Uh, these beans lose five, six percent moisture in a day, it seems. You start and they're 18, and by the end of the day, they're 10. So we want to kill the places that are ready so we can combine them, but I don't know. It's also kind of annoying to bounce around the field like that. Obviously, everything's got to be connected so the combine can get to it, but. Ain't gonna be the quickest harvest because now you're taking a, what, 70 acre field and coming in and harvesting it twice, gonna have basically cut headlands through the middle and yeah. Either way, gotta get the crop out. So normally we aren't spraying this early in the morning for a couple of reasons. Number one, the, the dew, and number two, I don't like getting up this early. <laughs> but there's a fine purpose of the reason we are out spraying to kill these black turtle beans is 
the pods, so like these ones that are really dried down, they're gonna be, the pods are damp, so they're not gonna shatter open when the sprayer is brushing them going down. Now he's got tracks out here, obviously we sprayed this, this will be the sixth path, pass through this field. So he's obviously got his, his tracks here that are maybe a little bit damaged already, so it's got a nice pathway. Anyways, uh, we are gonna be leaving some stuff out here. There's two different varieties. The one variety is not ready, so I'm thinking about 60 acres we'll be doing. And he's gonna be turning the sprayer off in the low spots because they're, they look like this grass green. Obviously you don't wanna kill these yet because they're still growing and we gotta come back to the field anyways. So we're just gonna leave the low spots, take what drought out and try to manage it the best we can. Scary thing is, as you're, when you do this, we're using a chemical that I believe has a four day window, like you can't combine within four days. After four days, very well could be combining, so we better be ready. All right, I texted you the rates so you can put in your computer. Okay. So I'll go get a ride with you and make sure you don't spray stuff you shouldn't. I hope not. That seems like a lot of pressure. <laughs> <laughs> you perform the best when you're under pressure. Only in the green. Probably. You'd be going six miles an hour out there. <laughs> yeah, this is what we do all summer, Doug. Don't worry about the cracks. <laughs> so you want to tell them how you're leaving tonight and never coming back for like 10 days because you're going to Alaska cantaloupe hunting? No, not cantaloupe. You might eat cantaloupe over there. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> yeah, by the time I get back, you guys might be done with the medical bean harvest, which feels really wrong, but also it's for a caribou hunt in Alaska, so I won't feel bad. <laughs> He's going with uh, Big Papa. Big Daddy. Yeah, up north of Nome. We're going to be like 60 miles or something from Russia. But then, That's crazy. Maybe 100. But either way, it's going to be a lot closer than I want to be. Better be careful, you might get recruited to the war. <laughs> so, but it'll be cool. Hunting in the tundra, I can use a rifle, 300. I'm so glad I can come. <laughs> I'm here, <laughs> for now. <laughs> what are you doing? What is that? What is what? That. That's my tachometer. For what? I don't know, keeping hours? You riding with him? Well, I know you might be a little bit jittery, but... We listen to loud music while we spread. Oh, no heebie-jeebie. I'm out. He suckered me in. He suckered me in. <laughs> so this is obviously why we're kind of spot spraying this. This is the low belly. That way is a different variety, but doesn't seem to matter. It just had more moisture, so they're growing. If we would have gotten more moisture, the whole field would have probably looked like this still. Wouldn't you agree? I would, I would say so. But then, like... You'll see up here, as we get to the edge, where it kind of needed more water. That's what we're spraying, so. We're not spraying right here. Once we get to that edge, we're gonna light it up. They're really gangly. They lodge. They're so big. Yeah, yeah that's at the most bushy little things. Turn it on. You want me to kill the green ones, huh? <laughs> yep. You gotta get into them a little bit, you know. What's the issue? What's the issue? <laughs> Gotta do some clean out. It's muddy out there though, so. I honestly have no idea what's going on right now. The lodged beans are not liking the mud and the track. Just a small issue. But our top operator here seen that it was rubbing the beans and had to shut her I down. I don't like it. I want perfection. <laughs> now you just leave a big pile of mud for my bean header? Oh my. Forgot that we got three inches of rain two days ago. I think I heard the turbo there. Or was that the transmission? Probably. It was screaming. Do I gotta shut off for this? Nope. Kill what about that? I didn't even kill that. I know. That's the wrong variety. I'm not there. gonna make you drive through that to fail 15 feet. 30 feet. 30 feet? That's 30 feet. Here, fence rope. Got him. Oh my. No chance they survive now. <laughs> So what is the point of desiccating and why don't we do it in soybeans? Well, 
the black beans, obviously all the really brown stuff out here, would probably naturally dry down in what, three days? You probably could be combining them, but there's these smaller, greener patches that obviously won't allow you to do that, and you're gonna get severely docked if you bring in edibles with uh, green ones or purple, purple, purple ones or just not black. So that's why we're evening the field. Like right here, they're, it ain't gonna kill anything because they're already dead, but back there, we're killing. And why do you, <clears throat> what's another reason you don't want moisture? Like green stems well, and any moisture when you're combining? So last year we sprayed through spots like that that are really, really green and the stems were really, really green when we were combining and I thought, well, what's the big deal? You know, it's soybeans, you bomb right through it. Don't think nothing of it. Brody's right. screaming on the two-way. Uh, Chet, I'd get out of there. I'd get out of there. And I thought, ah, it'll be fine. Yep, well, that dust. These things are really oily, so that the dust and mud stick to your augers. And I battled, and I battled, and I battled the whole rest of the season yeah. because all my augers got mud on them and plugged up everything. You want me to kill that green patch for you, or no? I'd wait. Okay, we got to come back in after you just got done explaining why not to. Well, we're in one, you know. If I'm not gonna tell you to stop for the 30 foot round patch. What a four acre patch. I'm ready. Turn it on! <laughs> Here comes the telephone pole to the boom breakaway. That's why they put it there. Oh my. Did I hit it? it appears you missed it. That's good because I was following tracks that I've been on five times this year, <laughs> so I would have hit that thing a lot of times already. <laughs> All right, first field is dead. Wow. 40 acres of 140, so it's dying. It's a very small amount, but it's a start. That's where that's where we're gonna set our combines at. You should see if we can't put a sticker on one of the cans that this goes to market in. Down in Mexico? That'd be cool. Gain some fans. They also there. go to Chipotle's. Gene really likes Chipotle. Is it Chipotle? Are you gonna stop or Is are you it? gonna ram right into my trailer? <laughs> well, I don't know why it's not moving. <laughs> All right. Actually, but that raises a question. Is it Chipotle, plural, or Chipotles? I don't know. Are you hunting cantaloupe or? or Caribbean. Caribbean. Because I'm hunting them all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we just got the last little baby load mixed up here. We were only supposed to do this half of the field, and we did leave some spots out here also because the north end of that half of the field is still really green. But then we got looking at this hill, and we're like, ah, we should do some out there. Now we sprayed 30 acres out there. And we had to mix up a little more because we found another spot to spray out there. So we still got to come back, but might as well get what's ready since we're here. What's going on, boys? Push your tag axe. Tag axe so will not go down. We got carried away out there and got in the other field. I was wondering yeah. what took you so long. Yep. We did about 80 acres on that field. You ready? I don't even yeah. get done yet then. <laughs> oh, we can get the trailer going. So we got new plug-ins put on the tractor in the front of the trailer. We've got no power back here. That's a good sign since they had this whole rail off. I'm sure they pinched a bunch of wires. Are you having fun? Lots of it. <laughs> so we deemed, we took this trailer down to Timpty in Sioux Falls and they put new side rails on new framework for the axles because it was rusting. And uh, whenever we plug this harness in, the harness gets really warm and the circuit breaker starts tripping. So I'm thinking when they put this on, all the wires run behind here. That's my theory. We're pulling a new wire to see if that helps or not. Hey, Chet. Hey, Brody. Instead of doing a splice, we should just run it all the way up to the plug-in. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. But, but, we gotta send the fish through there too. I already have some of this apart. <laughs> Brody, how are you in there? <laughs> are we ready? That was a problem. New wire. And we're back. We're back.
That was a real head scratcher there for a bit till I felt the wiring harness and figured, you know, I think something's shorting out. Doug, you got your cigarette lighter? Yeah. Yeah, that mouse, uh, Brody and me were smelling for it and it's, uh, Where? he was twice the size of a normal mouse. What and vehicle? He, underneath the welding table there around the corner. You know, it never ceases to amaze me how a guy can get screwed. <laughs> so I ordered this new hose reel here, Flexzilla, you know, it's black with green hose, gonna mount it right there. It's yellow with a different brand hose and it's used. It's been used. Someone either screwed Amazon or Amazon's trying to screw me. Unreal. Look at this. It's disgusting. I don't even want to touch it. And it's Husky hose, not Flexzilla. Junk. They get the hose clap. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever brought this, this is done. <laughs> whoever brought this back into inventory with whoever sent one back to Amazon must not know it's how to crap. do their job. Oh, easy, easy, my fingers are in there. Well it works. We better show Doug with this. You got it? it? No. I'm letting go. On three. <laughs> Come look at the newest way you've been screwed. <laughs> <laughs> that old hose? What's that supposed to be? Oh, nice. The whole thing's used. <laughs> and you bought it. Pull up your Amazon account. Let's see what you bought. People sell used hose reels? This is supposed to be new. You, you can buy used Somebody has swindled Amazon. the Amazon company. This is an old, <laughs> everything is old. <laughs> I've never, I don't even know what to say to this. Junk. <laughs> what? <laughs> I and now Big it. Swede, Big Swede did the box, so ah, now. Ah, I cut it instead of tearing, so that can get taped back together. Well, they put it together, right? So somebody had a wrecked one and they ordered a new one and then sent the wrecked one back and said, here you go. I've always thought about doing that. <laughs> well, fortunately, I can return it, so I'm going to return the returned hose reel, and I've ordered a different one, so we'll see what we get now. All right, next job on the list is I, we started with pressure washing this to paint it ourselves. Then just somehow, miraculously, some... <laughs> individual pulled up on the yard and said, hey, you want those tanks painted? He must have seen uh, the video. How much? Long story short, he told us we had the wrong paint and it would all fall off in three years. And he guarantees it for seven. So we're gonna have him do all three tanks. And then when it all falls off in three years and his phone doesn't work, we can say, man, we got ripped off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but nonetheless, we have to, uh, remove all of this junk so he can work here. Some's junk, some's good. <clears throat> and we have a lot to that do was in 40 disgusting. minutes. We have a lot to do in 40 minutes. What's happening in 40 I'm minutes? I'm leaving in 40 minutes. Tell him what you're doing, because we're not telling know, Eric. I don't want to know, but I don't, don't want to tell him yet. He's going to look at an Impala. I'm going to look at an Impala, and it's this color. <laughs> <laughs> and Eric don't know, we're not telling him. Can't Just tell like him. he didn't tell us when, when, uh, he bought that Impala. Yep. I said it's cooler, so it's gonna be cooler. I'm not a fan of the red, but you know. It's got a sunroof. It's better than It's got walking. a sunroof. Really? Yep. Oh boy. <laughs> Leather too. <It's laughs> Big upgrades in the Impala world. I gotta see if it has heated seats first. <laughs> so, we've, believe it or not, made a big dent here. But a lot of it was just bend parts, leftovers, stuff we've remodified. Looks like some scrap metal. That's going to go to the, the scrap pile. What? I got to go over there. I think I got all the scrap iron out of here. Old stuff that is just probably never going to get used again, so we're going to scrap a lot of it. Uh, 
I've upgraded to Capri mode now. It's warm. It's terribly warm. I love how we're relocating everything to a, another spot that should be cleaned. Oh my. So back in the 30s, how many hours did you put on this model? 30s. It wasn't me that done that. <laughs> I don't know if Grandpa, I suppose Grandpa would have gotten into it. So this is an old corn sheller. You put the corn cobs in there, and the corn comes out the bottom, and the corn cob comes out right here. Stand back. Get her going. Obviously, it's seen much better days. Here, get, like, he's getting frisky. Yeah, this here was the little shell. You got a new nick. You got a new nickname on the bachelor party. Eric. Yeah. But <laughs> everyone was calling him Sweeter. Sweeter? Yeah. What's that mean? I don't know. I lose my fingers here. Oh boy, she ain't gonna she ain't gonna fit. You remember when that used to be on the 7250 Magnum? Yeah, that was a good check. And then Merlin went right through a ditch and folded it down underneath the I don't remember weight that. package. I really? Do. I don't know how we got it pulled back up, but... That was all Johnny rigged together, as you can see. Fabricated by a Duggo, that, a younger, yeah, finer looking Duggo. If it worked, it worked, no matter what it looked like. I didn't care. The rock box actually came off 70, 70, 40 Alice Chalmers, thus the nice orange paint underneath the black paint that I rattle canned on there. And then we just fab that up and slid that through the weight package. Had to weld this all on there for the... You want to tell them how much this paint job is going to cost? That's caused by you getting hacked on in the YouTube comments? Well, do they know what I paid for that tank back in the, oh gosh, that have been maybe your Early late... Early 2000s, late 90s. Probably. Late 90s. This 18,000 gallon fuel tank. Take a guess. They'll never guess. That's why it's hard on me. I maybe have said this. It's very hard on me to spend money on painting it because I've bought it very reasonable. Three hundred and fifty dollars. Three hundred and fifty dollars, <laughs> and I had a hard time saying yes to that. Three hundred and fifty bucks was a. I hate to even say it. We didn't have three hundred and fifty bucks back then. And then you had the chance of screwing up, buying too high, and. Uh, I don't want to go thinking about back then. Anybody want some weights? I think they came off John Deere seventy. Oh, then, you, when we go plowing this fall, when we can't, when we go broke because we're painting tanks, we'll have her back right. out. <laughs> One liter weight her down. <laughs> they were on the Owatonna Swather for a while. Is it a Swather or a Swatter? It's both. I agree. I like that answer. So yeah, we got that weight, the big weight package for the 70. <laughs> I'm sure that's worth, oh, I can't imagine. $350. That would be good. Then I'd... <laughs> Then I'd have that tank paid for it. <laughs> well, that job took way longer than I expected it to. And the day's just about over, so uh, I think that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you learned something. And yeah, so we'll see you next time.